feel to be heading towards 100 episodes? It's yeah. part of the original crew. I feel old. Yeah? I feel like an old man. <laughs> my knees are giving way. <laughs> my, my voice is no longer what it used to be. Um, I get headaches all the time, mostly through the registers of Tom Cavanaugh's <laughs> um, Yeah, I feel old, but I feel accomplished. Yeah, I feel like we've made some pretty good television. You know, we haven't always hit the mark, but um, I think we've always done our best in terms of uh, telling good stories that feel true and that clearly resonate with people. My favorite part of doing conventions is hearing one-on-one -on -one from people that are moved by the show or how the show has been there for difficult times for them. And that makes it, you know, that sort of reminds us because we live in this vacuum in Vancouver where we're just eternally trapped in a studio uh, in a circular cortex, just like spouting science lines and looking at <laughs> monitors and looking at fake <laughs> villains and all this stuff, green screen stuff. It's uh, It can be a very uh, insular and disconnected experience. Um, so when we get to experience that, it, um, it sort of helps to put things in perspective. I don't. I did not expect that answer to come out. I feel like we've seen Cisco's character find out new things with his vibe ability. Yeah. Like he can do different things with it. Is there something in the next season we're gonna find? Like is he gonna learn? Okay, now I can do this with this ability. He's gonna learn some humility. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, his. Um, his powers are going to be challenged in a way that they've never been challenged before, in a, in a very sort of uh, perilous situation. Um, and I think it's going to force Cisco to weigh some pretty serious questions about his role. <laughs> Tom is bringing a new character to the show this season, and of course, your rapport with Tom is kind of key to the whole show's dynamic. Mm -hmm. So what can you tell us about how that's going to work this time around? Well, I love working with Tom. I do. Uh, don't tell him that. No, never. <laughs> because it'll go to his head. But uh, I do love working with Tom, and I love, you know, figuring out um, how to entertain with him, you know, because the script is usually our blueprint. And if we take it, we're both pretty, I think, well informed with how comedy works, how timing works. So we use our, you know, collective knowledge to make what's on the page like live and breathe and be as as funny and human as it can be. Um, and I love doing that with him. And I would trade it for anything in the world, except that I'm a big fan of change. And so I feel like I would love to see him explore, you know, some of what he does best with a different character, you know, someone that, you know, maybe like, you know, has more of a, of a comedic uh, handle, like, you know, Hartley's pretty good at that stuff. I don't know, I'd love to see him, yeah, play around with Hartley, but I don't know, as far as like Cisco's relationship to whatever this new, whoever, whomever, whomever this new Wells is, um, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you so much.